Hey gang, this is Ron from itmaskey.com and today I want to talk about a certification that I think is a really good certification for beginners. So the certification I'm talking about is the CompTIA IT Fundamentals, also known as ITF+. So this certification is a certification that is a really good precursor to A+. So A plus is usually the certification that all my students at Master IT usually go through to gain their first certification, right? So the difference for me, or what I think the difference is between ITF plus and A plus is that ITF plus gives you a good foundation, but as far as employment, it won't really do that much for you. Okay, does that make sense? So A plus, um, you can actually get a job with that. ITF plus, not so much unless you're talking about uh, teaching uh, ITF plus, right? So ITF plus gives you a really good foundation and ITF plus is an exam that has a maximum of 75 questions. You got 60 minutes to knock out those 75 questions and then you got to get a 650 out of 900 to actually pass the exam, right? So on the actual exam, um, as of today, because usually every three years exams get updated, but this one just got updated. So you should be good for quite some time. So currently on the exam, you have to know things such as IT concepts and terminology. So you need to know stuff about basic computing, data information, common units of measurements. Uh, the troubleshooting mythology, that's one uh, big thing on all CompTIA exams that you have to know the troubleshooting steps. But I don't want you guys to uh, get confused. So let's just keep this a little bit more concise. Right. So if you want me to go and dive a little bit deeper into this stuff, I will. But right now I'm going to keep it concise, short and sweet. So the first thing you need to know is IT concepts and terminology. The second thing you need to know is infrastructure. The third thing you need to know is applications and software. The fourth thing you need to know is software development. The fifth thing you need to know is database fundamentals. And lastly, you need to know about security. So on the exam, infrastructure and security is going to have the biggest emphasis on the actual exam. So when you rocking through the actual exam is what you need to focus on. That's what my students focus on inside of the course over at itmagic.com. We focus on everything, but primarily we want to focus on what the exam is going to bring up mostly, right? And that's usually going to be infrastructure coming in first, security coming in second, and then applications and software coming in third. But remember, six domains that i just talked about it concepts and terminology infrastructure applications and software software development database fundamentals and lastly security is what you're going to run up against on the actual exam so to go a little bit deeper i know i said i wouldn't but fuck it we're here so uh it concepts and terminology um that's going to cover things like the troubleshooting mythology, different things that pop up, different um, words, different acronyms, so on and so forth, uh, units of measurements, gigabytes, terabytes, that type of stuff, right? When we get down to infrastructure, that's going to be talking more about uh, networking, uh, peripheral devices, uh, internal computing components and those types of things. When we get down to applications and software, we're going to be talking about operating systems, different types of software, difference between collaboration software, business software. When we get down to software development concepts, we're going to be talking about stuff like a uh, different languages, uh, Java, uh, Python, that type of stuff. Um, different programming techniques then we're going to jump into database fundamentals that's going to be talking about stuff like 
database structures, the purpose of databases. And then last but not least, we're gonna be talking about security. So we're gonna be talking about confidentiality and integrity, uh, different ways to secure devices, the best practices, um, password best practices. So that kind of sounds like a lot, right? So a lot of people kind of discount the ITF plus, like it's just gonna be courses on there like, what is a computer? Man, hell no, it's gonna be a lot um, more detailed and a lot more informative, right? So like I said, the ITF Plus, um, I gear my students towards it. This is a good foundation. And I found that if students knock out ITF Plus, they have a higher uh, pass rate when they move on to A Plus. So if you're looking for a course, you can head over to ITF, excuse me, <laughs> I got too excited. You can head over to itbatchkey.com and roll inside of our full ITF Plus course. Um, but most of our students that um, are in the ITF Plus course are actually inside of our Zero to Hero program. So our Zero to Hero program starts with ITF Plus and takes you all the way up to Security Plus, making sure that you get all of those certifications. So um, hopefully this was informative. And other than that, I'll see you in class.